All right. The Nintendo published boxing video game series Punch Out, starring Little Mac, has been on hold since 2009. Fans expected a follow up game a few years later, but since then we've gotten nothing and the series has been written off for as good as dead. But I've got reason and evidence to believe one of my favorite series of all time is not quite dead just yet. Let's get to it. So, I mean, you'll see your good old speculation video every few months pop up. When's the next Punch Out? The thing is, we actually have all the evidence dug up here. So we gotta start here when looking at a brand new Punch-Out game. We gotta start with the last Punch-Out game, which was... Doc Lewis's Punch-Out! A WiiWare title given out to American Club Nintendo members who reached the Platinum level. You could either have this game or a Mario hat shipped to you. Um, I didn't see a Doc Lewis's Punch-Out at Party City, I'll take the game. There's of course not as much content as Punch-Out Wii because it's a WiiWare game, but you do have three different modes, warm-up, training, and sparring. And because you can buy Mario hats, most would probably take the Punch-Out game. It was really the same concept as Punch-Out Wii, so we'll go back to Punch-Out Wii. The development group group for Punch-Out Wii was actually not Nintendo themselves, but Next Level Games. Next Level Games. There's no camera for this one. Who are they? Well, it takes one click of their website, go to the game section, and you'll see some pretty familiar looking games. Of course, the two Punch-Outs, Luigi's Mansion, a Metroid game, and some Mario Strikers games. All great games. Wait, hold on. As I said, all great games. They made Punch-Out Wii, ratings-wise, smash hit. But the point I'm trying to get across here is they still are making games for Nintendo, a lot of these very, very recently, with the most recent one being the, uh, one of the worst ones? Mario Strikers Battle League. Released in 2022, we can tell Nintendo is still very much so buddy-buddy with next level games. Now, while Nintendo has developed Punch-Out games before, there is one game to look at that stands out. Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out, Punch-Out Boxing, Arm Wrestling, a spin-off, and then hang on a minute, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Power, power, power. But for that, you've got to beat Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Punch-Out from Nintendo. Mike Tyson, former heavyweight boxing champion. Mike Tyson! What does he have to do with anything? Well, if Mike Tyson is associated to Punch-Out games, he might know something, right? So I reached out to him for comment. How is this happening? Mike! F off! No, I mean, reaching out to somebody as busy as him would be next to impossible. So we gotta look elsewhere because obviously he doesn't want to talk to me. And one very specific thing brought to my attention was this. April 4th, 2019. Mike Tyson tweets, Heard at Nintendo was doing the new punch out without even contacting me. It won't be the same. My knockouts made the game. That's whack. Maybe it's been going strong since 2019. There's a couple questions though. How does Mike even know? Nintendo and anybody associated being next level games are more secure than the Pentagon. So I don't know what his source is here, but let's just say, you know, he has a credible source and that's correct information. That was over four years ago. You would think maybe in the next Nintendo Direct or the one after that or the one maybe even after that could include some sort of punch out game. And if you thought that was evidence, hold on, we have one more thing from Mike himself. So after doing my research on Mike Tyson content, I found him hitting pads, biting another boxer Evander Holyfield's ear off. Oh, and this, a Logan Paul impulsive podcast featuring Mike Tyson. So I've watched this whole episode in length. And there was one sentence Mike said that stood out to me about Punch-Out. When the most important thing that ever happened to me was the day Mike Tyson Punch-Out came out on Nintendo. That was, that was pretty big. We're starting, we're gonna make another one. <laughs> Good, you should, Mike, you should. When the topic of Punch-Out is brought up, he says, we're gonna make another one. But before he says, we're gonna make another one, he stutters a bit and says, we're starting. That was, that was pretty big, we're starting. We're, starting. <laughs> we're gonna make another one. We're starting to make another one. Now, he did change his words there, but you would think around this time could be when they've started to make the next Punch-Out game. But you remember this tweet, right? April 2019 and December 2020. Is Mike Tyson now on board? But we even have more stuff to dive into here. Now, as bad as the 2009 to 2023 gap looks for the whole Punch-Out series, it's not unknown territory. Going back to the Punch-Out timeline. You see, before Punch-Out Wii, the last game to be released was 15 years earlier in 1994, being Super Punch-Out for the SNES. It has seen slightly longer days than the 14 year gap between 2009 and 2023. Granted that is 14 years and we might just break that previous gap in being the longest drought in Punch-Out history, but if Mike Tyson really knows something about the next Punch-Out game, 
we could be seeing something soon. It also does help that one, Nintendo is re-releasing the Punch-Out games on the NES and SNES online service for Nintendo Switch Online. Now that obviously makes sense. You would bring those games over as they're some of the most loved NES games. Okay, well then you have Little Mac being in Smash Bros. In Smash Bros Brawl, he was an assist trophy. Makes sense. Smash Bros 3DS and Wii U playable character, Smash Bros Ultimate playable character. Once again, no concrete evidence here, but it is helping your case. And also looking at punch out numbers it's never been a flop there's been no real reason to cancel the series or to leave it dead even the in real life boxing popularity while it might have gone down and seems to only spike when either a there's a gigantic real boxing fight or jake paul fights i don't think that's enough to cancel the series i even put out a poll the other day asking would you want a punch out game on nintendo switch 66% say yes, 17% say no, the series can die, and 17% say what's a punch out? I'm sorry. I just see very, very small amounts of people not wanting a punch out game. But besides majority wanting a brand new punch out game for the Switch, what stuck out to me were the comments. Punch out is dead and probably won't come back. Not that one. Want is a punch out. The Wii one is one of my favorites on the console. Would love another follow up in that style. I love punch out. The one on the Wii was so fun. I know for a fact that Mike Tyson's punch out on the NES is my dad's favorite game. Brings me to the next point. This game, I think, would sell ultra well. This game has now turned into people's childhoods, really. And then you obviously saw Punch-Out Pizzeria in the Mario movie. Now, I'm not gonna say, oh boy, Punch-Out confirmed because it was in the Mario movie. Oh boy, 2024. The point there is they still love Punch-Out and knew the people would like it. Not only do you have all of the Wii players who have grown up now, you have the people from the 1980s, 1990s who have played Punch-Out. You see the new one. Oh, buddy, that's tempting. That's not me saying it'll sell 10 million copies because people used to play it back in the day, but I do think the series is a lot bigger than people like to give it credit for. If there's one thing I hope is not the case, it's that ARMS is the replacement for Punch-Out, and there's gonna be some sort of ARMS too, and that's what we have to play now. Honestly, I would just take a Definitive Edition or a port from the Wii Punch-Out. We've seen Nintendo bring quite a few Wii games over to the Switch. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, Super Mario Galaxy, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. They're certainly not afraid of that, they could do it if they really want to. Although, after 14 years, it really shouldn't be a port. Now, Punch Punch Out! Wii did sell 1.27 million copies, which is not some outstanding figure, but it's certainly not enough to call it dead. WarioWare Get It Together at this moment in time, June 2023, has also sold 1.27 million copies. Now that number will obviously go up over time, but can that series be called dead? No, it's WarioWare. But I would like to think after all this time, there's something in the works, there's something in development, somebody knows something, Mike Tyson could be right with that tweet where they're making a new Punch-Out game. I don't have the answers, Mario doesn't either, but if we get them, we'll tell you. But anyways, that is my piece on the Punch-Out series. Right now, it is in a drought, but not the longest drought it has ever been in. So I wanna know, what do you think? Will there even be another Punch-Out game ever is the series dead has it been replaced with arms let me know if we do get another punch out game i'll be jumping with joy you can probably expect it in some sort of nintendo direct and that i will be live streaming so make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss that with that i'll see you all in the next one adios